All right, so up nerds, in this question, they're asking us to find the smallest positive integer x that solves the congruence. 7x is congruent to 2 mod 38. So think of it like you need to get rid of the 7 in front of the x um, to solve this question. So how are you going to do that? You're going to find whatever the inverse of 7 is. So it's like if you were to say like 5x equals 10, you would multiply both sides by what? By 1 over 5? Or you divide by 1 over, or you just divide by 5, right? It's the same thing. So we need to find what we're going to multiply with the 7 by to make it a 1 in front of the x. So to do that, you first have to make sure that the GCD of this 38 and this 7 is 1, and it is. So we're good to go. They are relatively prime, so we can continue. So the next step is, I forgot what this method is called, but I know how to do it, so that's all that matters to me. 7 times 5 plus... 3 so you want to get so you write down your 38 you take whatever number is here and you take whatever number is here so to start it you take this number in, in the mod and you put it here 38 equals and then you take the 7 and your 7 and you're going to multiply you're going to figure out how many times 7 go into 38 and whatever that remainder is you're going to add it on the side so it's 3 so 7 times 5 is 35 and then plus 3 is 38 next step is you're going to take the 7 and you're going to move it down here, so it's going to go 7 equals, and then this 3, you're going to move it down here, and then you're going to multiply it by 2, which is 6, and then plus 1. And you're going to keep doing that until you get a remainder of 0. So you move your 3 down, so 3 equals, and then it's 1, and then, because you move the 1 here, times 3 plus 0. So now we can stop. Usually when you get plus 1, you know your next step is plus 0, so you just stop at the plus 1. Because that's your GCD of 1. So then now we can label this A, B, and C. We know we're going to start at B, so now we have to go backwards. The theorem, or whatever, starts with an E. I, don't, I forgot what it's called. Anyways, so um, you do 1 equals 7 minus 3 times 2. You're just solving for 1 in, in the B. You're just literally solving 1. That's all you did so far. Then the next step is you look at the next line, or like the previous line, which is A, and you see you have a 3 in the remainder. So you know that's what you're going to be substituting here in, in the, the B equation. So then we get 7 minus, and then it's going to be 38 times, or minus 7 times 5. All of this multiplied by 2. Don't forget this 2 here. It's very important. So then now we can simplify it. So 7 minus, and then we have the 2 distributed, so it's times 2 minus 7, and then the 5 times 2 is 10. So now I have 7, 10, or 10 7s, and then I have the 7, so I have 10 7s right here, and I have one more 7 here. And then this is positive because the negative distributed. So I have 7, I have 7, or... 11 sevens and then minus and then two thirty eights. Okay, so now we have to know what number is important to us here. And we can figure it out by looking at the original question. So we have seven up here, and we have thirty-eight up here. So the the question is, do we want to look at the eleven or do we want to look at the two? Well, we're taking mod thirty-eight. So we know that we're not going to be looking at here because whatever this is, it's just going to be 0 because 38 mod 38 is 0. Any, any multiple of 38 is going to give you a mod of 0. So we're going to be looking at this 11. So what you do is you multiply both sides by 11 and that's like saying you're multiplying both sides by 1 over 7 which is going to make this, so if we have 7x, I'm taking the original question, I'm just rewriting it, 2 mod 38, if I take... Now this 11, if I do 7 times 11, that's 1. Yeah, it sounds stupid, but that's the answer. And then you do 2 times 11, and then mod 38. So 7 times 11 is 1, so you're left with the x, which is what we've been working for this whole time, equals 22 mod 38. So now the cool thing is, is whenever you have the, the number in front of mod, like this 22 mod 38, because 22 is less than 38, the answer of 22 mod 38 is just 22 because 22 can't go into 38 anymore so the remainder is just 22 and that's the answer to this question.